Hi, my name is Mary. I'm a secondhand stylist located in New Orleans, Louisiana. That just means I style people in all secondhand clothes. And today I am going to begin the process of styling a brand new client. And I can't wait to tell you about it. Before I get started, I'm a brand new YouTuber. This is one of my very first videos. So if you like it, you've got to engage with it. And if at any point you're like, mm, I could do more of this, please consider subscribing. It will mean the world to me and it will keep me going in this new project of the YouTube. Okay. I I promise now it's time to get started. Okay, I had my client meeting with Rachel last week and um, this is what she said on her intake form. She said she's not really sure she has a style. Now we talked about this in her intake. She's definitely got a style. My job is just helping people hone it in, be able to name it and help them find some pieces that really fluff that up. At our client consultation I got a lot of information from her she bikes a lot which is important for me to know because I want her to be able to bike in things um, her comfort zone is kind of like jeans and a t-shirt um, which love that comfort zone feel great about that comfort zone she showed me some going out outfits and she was wearing like really bright fun stuff like a bright colorful jumpsuit with white boots like that's style that's fun that's playful so I'm very excited about styling her um, she's not afraid of color She's also not afraid of looking sexy. Like she wants some like going out outfits to look good in, which I love. And she is okay with revealing clothes generally and tight clothes. She's looking for a little black dress. So hopefully I'll find her a nice little black dress option. I just wore my very first little black dress to a formal event at my best friend's wedding a couple weeks ago. And I've always like long, not understood the LBD trend and why every woman needs one. But now that I like own one that I re like really love, I get it. <laughs> I get it, I looked so hot in that dress and it was just a plain black dress. So I'm a convert. I don't proclaim to be a complete expert on all things clothes all of the time. And I am someone whose fashion is constantly changing. And I think that's why I'm able to help people find theirs because if you're open to new ideas and trying new things and other worlds, you find out some stuff. And I found out that I love a little little black dress. At least I love the one that I got for myself. So hopefully I can find her one. I'm really excited to style her. I'm gonna go source in my inventory, see what I have for her. And then from there we'll figure out the rest. Okay, I'm in my inventory room. So if you don't know, I have a whole stock of inventory in my shop. And what I do is I pull from my stock first for my client. And then I go source with an idea of what I've got for them already here at the rack. Um, this client has a really broad spectrum of what she's interested in and I feel like she's really down to clown. So I'm going to pull a lot of different kinds of styles and I'm going to like narrow it down as I go basically. So sound good? And then also this is my very technical um, tracking system for her measurements. <laughs> I know, I keep things really professional, like just like middle school, you know? And after I do all my pulling, I'll do a little check-in, see what I have so far, and then we'll go thrifting. As you can see behind me, here's a bunch of things I've pulled. It's not everything, it's missing pants and it's missing jeans. But I'm at the point that I come to a lot of times when I'm doing racks where I feel as I've got it all wrong. So I pulled a lot of really bold and bright prints because during this client's consult, she showed me a picture in this jumpsuit, which I've already talked about. And I watched her show me this photo and I watched her light up showing it to me. I watched her be excited to look at it herself. And to me, those are all really big indications that somebody feels really good in something. So I took that knowledge knowing what I know about sales and clothes and people. And I was like, this person wants color. This person wants shape. This current person wants playful. So I really loaded up on those things. Now, I think this person does love color and shape and is playful, but I think I've gone too heavy. And I need to remember that her style icon was Kristen Stewart. Not sure if I talked about this, but, and what she likes about Kristen Stewart is this play on masculine and feminine, the more androgynous stuff and more like the structured silhouettes. So what I'm gonna try to do is one of two things. One, I'm going to try to marry the two things give her outfits that have these more androgynous 
structured pieces, maybe with a bright color or print or pattern, um, and or two, honor these two different sides of her potential style in different kinds of outfits. I am the kind of person who dresses wildly different how I'm feeling day to day. There, I will sometimes go weeks where I just look like a tomboy, like very masculine, androgynous. I'm a queer woman, so I really dabble in that. And I don't even want to look at my dresses at those times. But then I go through serious phases of like, I used to love like pin up and rockabilly and all that stuff. And I'll still throw on those dresses sometimes and I'll put on a lip and I'll go to a wedding. I do have these two sides to my style. I mean, I have many sides to my style, but I really have these two big sides of my style and I just honor them with my wardrobe. So I think what I've just realized is that there's a lot on this rack that I'm gonna leave for my client because I really do think that she's gonna connect with a lot of these pieces. I think she's gonna put them on and smile, but I am going to try to give her that other side of the coin too. And that might be the stuff that I need to hit up the hit up the thrift and get because I've got the bold stuff covered. It's always finding the more structured fits for women because those are often made by better brands. They're higher quality fabrics. Like when something has like a really nice pleat or 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 hemming, or, or what, what's the word I want? Tailoring, really nice tailored pieces that you see with your eyes and you're like, that is the thing of like what Kristen Stewart wears. Those are really expensive pieces of clothing. Like that's why they look so nice. I don't think people realize that. They try to get the look a lot of times for like none of the money. And it does, you can do it. I thrift those pieces all the time. It's just a lot harder. <laughs> it's a lot harder to find those beautiful tailored pieces secondhand. Now I find them, don't get me wrong, but that kind of stuff is harder for me to find. Whereas I find bright, bold, colorful stuff all the time because people are afraid of it for whatever reason. So we'll see what happens when we go thrifting. I actually don't know what my next step is right now. This is the part of the rack where I just like think for a while. So maybe I'll just go think for a while and reconvene. But first, thrifting. I hit up my local Goodwill to check out some pants. I was really determined to find her a slack. Something that resembled the more tailored slacks and pants that Kristen Stewart wears to go with some of those brighter tops that I found. So here I am hunting every single, I mean, I looked at every single pair of pants in this thrift store this day. Where do you think this is from when you first look at it? Is it giving you <gasps> Delia's vibe? I never find Delia's. I don't know if you can see it, but. Okay, I found so many pants that I really love. And I'm thinking I'm definitely gonna put these on her rack now. They have an elastic waistband. But I am team elastic waistband, so I think that she's gonna love the style. I'm curious how she'll feel about the top. I'm trying elastic waistband. You'll never go back, so be careful. All right, hanger is coming off. That's how you know. That's how you know I'm getting it. I take the hanger off. Okay, I don't know if these are gonna show up on camera very well, but these are the Chico's Traveler pant, and they're just this like slinky, you might recognize this material as big in like the 90s. Um, see Chico's Travelers? I buy them whenever I find them in good condition because they're so comfortable and people love them because I mean, I sell them pretty fast. So these seem to be in good condition. So I'm gonna get them and I'll probably put them on this client's rack. Uh, not actually they're gonna be too big, but I just can't leave them when I find them in good condition. And I love finding them in colors because they make them in all kinds of colors too, but those are harder to find. Y'all are gonna learn my Achilles is really fun Christmas sweaters and I love this one. I believe there's no such thing as an ugly Christmas sweater and this one's half off today, so I'm gonna get it because look how beautiful this is. I love it, I love it, I love it. Somebody washed and dried this wool sweater that was an XL and is now tiny and they're charging $11 for it. So if you want to know, $11 super shrunk wool sweater. Come on down. <laughs> I've thought for a while. I've reconvened. It's been a few days. My client is coming tomorrow. So I'm trying to see if I am ready for her. I think I am. I think I am ready for her. I'm going to try to start piecing outfits together. I have decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to marry the more androgynous looks with some bright colors, some fun like prints maybe. Um, when I was pulling pants, 
I was like, okay, I've got some cool cuts and colors and styles here that are more tailored and I can blend them with the fun playful. So I'm really excited where it's going and I'm, I'm thinking she will be too. So. so first I started grabbing some slacks because slacks is the foundation of most of those androgynous looks that Kristen Stewart wears. But I found this pair that I have that's like a jogger. And what I like about this is since my client rides her bike a lot, I think that these are great because you can pull them up and they stay in place. Um, they're also this cool window pane, window pane plaid that I like a lot. And because it's this kind of like, I would call these a neutral, even though they have a print, I think it'd be really fun to layer a printed top with them. Um, so these are the first pair of pants that I grabbed that I was like, all right, these are cool. Here's the first outfit I put together for her. It's those pants I thrifted. They've got this elastic waistband because my girl likes to be comfy. They're beautiful pinstripe slacks. And then I just paired it with this plain little white tee. It's, cr it's cut into a crop. It's really simple. I don't usually sell my basics that are this. I mean, this is literally a Hanes t-shirt, but I put them on there so we can see the outfit together. With these two together, doesn't get much more Kristen Stewart than this. So I'm interested to see what she thinks about them. I think also the window pane slacks would go with this. I mean, it's the same exact outfit basically. So went Kristen Stewart out the gate and I feel like I got this out of the way. I get this is like the most traditional version of a Kristen Stewart outfit. So I feel like I've honored her style inspiration. And to be fair, she even said like, Kristen Stewart's her style and spell, but she doesn't really understand how she would dress like Kristen Stewart. Um, because they have different bodies. Now, that doesn't really matter if you have a different body, but it could also be a case of this client really admires Kristen Stewart's style, but maybe doesn't necessarily see it on themselves, and that's okay. Like, there are a lot of people's styles that I really, really love. Like, I love clown core, but I can't wear clown core. I don't like having all that stuff. I don't like having a bunch of extra things, but I love looking at it. So, it could be a case that she really loves Kristen Stewart, but maybe when she puts on those outfits, they don't really feel like her, but maybe they do. So we're gonna try one together. The client also said she really wanted a pair of overalls. So I had this really cute pair of distressed overalls. I like these too, because also Kristen Stewart loves some distressed shit. So I was like, all right, let's get some distressed overalls. The client works in gardens. So come on now, you have to, you have to be able to have overalls for your garden. Um, also, the overalls would look cute with the, the white crop as well. I also like overalls with like a really fun pattern. So I was like, oh, maybe we could do overalls with this like crazy little tank situation. I paired these two together, but I'm not, I don't know how I feel about them. I just love this tank so much. It's giving me 90s mom. And I think people are afraid of that, but I love it. It's got this fun texture that I don't know if you can tell. It's like ribbed texture. I love this. All right, so this is a maybe, these two together, I don't know. But overalls are definitely going on her right. Okay, I, re I went a little ham on 60s, 70s tops because of the jumpsuit picture once again. It was a really bright like 70s, 60s kind of vibe. And so I grabbed these three little tops. This is kind of like a jacket. It, it doesn't have buttons, but it kind of is like an overshirt. I'm definitely gonna leave this on her rack because I think it's a really fun layering piece for the winter. New Orleans doesn't always get that cold, so something like this is kind of perfect for layering. And it's so fun, I just, it's really fun. So I think she'll like that one. Definitely gonna leave that one. These two, I don't know. So this is a more like 60s, 70s brocade. That's not the word, but you see this like kind of really ornate floral. I mean, I love this print. I'm just like, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna pair it with for her. Ooh, 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 maybe like a high-waisted like flare pant. That would be cool. Like a cropped wide leg. And then we could like tuck this in maybe. I don't know, look at my pants options. And then I also have this little pink. This is for my personal closet. I wore it a few times. I've had it for a long time, but I have not gotten anywhere out of it in a while. So I was like, you know what? Maybe this is the year I pass it on. Isn't it so cute though? So I don't know, these these two may not last on the rack, or they might both last. I, I haven't fully decided yet. As far as little black dresses go, I do have two on this rack, 
but I think I kind of want to go look at some other options today when I'm thrifting. Um, but the first one I have, I just I threw this little vest over the top of it just because I had it, and I love it. I think it's really fun. Um, it reminds me of how she wrote in her thing that she tried like the 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 queer button up, which if you're like in the queer community, you know exactly what she means. Like the fun pattern button up situation, it's definitely like it's a thing. Anyway, this vest reminded me of that, but it's like more like. I don't know, it's like a more interesting take on that. Also, vests are very famous, famously associated with lesbians. So I threw it on there because I thought it was really fun. And then this, this is a LBD, but this is not like a sexy going out one. This is like a little everyday throw on slinky, slinky 90s LBD, like t-shirt dress. So I thought this was really fun and easy and I wanted to give her easy options. And I just love this vest, so I paired it with it. People are afraid of vests, and I just, I'm ready for the vest to have a comeback. I'm ready for more people to accept vests into their life. Have you heard the good news of our Lord and Savior, the vest? Because, how can you not like a vest? I love vests. Here's the other LBD. Went 60s again, it's true vintage silk high neck little scoopy situation. It's Millie of New York. If you know, you know. Um, and it's just got this, it's a very simple cut, but it's gonna be really beautiful on, I think. And it's vintage, true vintage, so that's the other LBD option I have on there for her. The next item, you may recognize it. It is the American Apparel Skater Dress. I had one of these in college. I wore it out all the time. It's a little halter top. It's a really stretchy knit, I mean a uh, poly, and it's really cute. It's really short, but I thought it would be really cute with some bike shorts like exposed underneath it. That's how I style it back in the day. And it's really easy, really comfortable, super bikeable. Like I could see her having bike shorts on and having this dress out and like going to hit the bars. Like so comfy, super comfy. So I threw this baby on there. It's definitely, I definitely wanted to try it on. Here's the thing, this client told me she's okay with being like a little sexy and a little revealing, especially with her going out clothes. So this is one that is definitely that. It might be too much of that, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, I'm very curious to see this next outfit on a human body, but right here we have this beautiful pair of like gray washed denim, and then we've got this blazer with this awesome contrast collar and this like um, kind of hound's toothy gray print. And then underneath it I have this wrap top you can't tell what it looks like on the hanger. Wrap tops look ridiculous on hangers, but it's a wrap top. So I'm curious what this is all gonna look like together, but I like the pieces all separately for her. So we shall see, but this is definitely a look that's going on the rack. This is all stuff that I'm definitely putting on the rack. And then this is all stuff that I haven't, I haven't decided if it's making the cut yet. <laughs> All right, this is an outfit that I've put on many a racks. You've already seen it on the last two racks I've done, but it's just the, the basic situation of a striped tee and a jean. I paired it with this distressed jean. It's a little bit of a lower rise, so I'm not sure she's gonna be wild about them, but they're so broken in and perfect, I had to put them on here. And then I paired it with this really like fun periwinkle stripe because I wanted to go with those bright colors that I think she really likes, but also kind of give her this like tomboy kind of androgynous playful look I just love a striped tee and jeans I it's just one of my favorite looks sue me okay this outfit is probably in my client's comfort zone completely it's this really cute pair of carpenter shorts it's got the little hammer holder here um, they're khaki which people don't always love khaki but I just think these shorts are so fun and because they're kind of like a you know, khaki, which isn't the most exciting. I was like, let me pair it with this cute little vintage floral button down. Now I know she probably already has a few button downs similar to this, but I thought these two together is something that she probably already wears on occasion just by looking at it. And I threw it in there to give her some more basics, some everyday stuff. These are a pair of short shorts, Everlane, nice short shorts, basic, love good denim. If I'm gonna pair it with something out the what am I gonna pair? Could do like a bold basic look with this like fun little bright blue. I love the color of this tank and these shorts. And then what if this went over the top of it? Mm, no. 
If this had blue in it, I would do it, but it doesn't. There's also this, but it's more of a shirt. Hmm. I don't know, I wanna do something else with these shorts. I just like this basic. A really bright, fun basic. We could go for a monochrome look with the blue. We could do blue, blue, and do these two blues. Maybe I'll give her that. These are silk, fun, wide pants, 100% silk. Blue, blue, I'm blue, da ba da dee da ba da da ba dee What kind of shoe would I put with this? That's a later me problem. I'm gonna go for the blue crayon look because I like it. Okay, I'm having an idea. I didn't show you these yet. They're like a linen coral colored slack. Super beautiful pant. And then we have this. I'm wondering if these two and like a really fun crop top underneath it could be really fun. Hmm. This is a maybe as an outfit. All this other stuff I pulled is not really speaking to me anymore. I'll show you guys what I have. I have this tight little like beach dress. And it's not really speaking to me anymore. I might pull it off. It's That dress is very adorable on, but I don't know. This silk top, it's just like not right. This, I just can't believe I still have it and that no one's bought it from me yet. I probably actually am going to leave it on there just as a singular piece, a standalone piece. If she hates it, she hates it. And then these two tops. This one, which I've been trying to find a home for, if y'all know, I love this top, but it just hasn't worked on anybody yet. Just not in the way that you like want it to, you know? And then this other kind of velvet top. I kind of threw these on here because I was like, oh, sexy going out wear for the fall. But I think no. I think these three are just, I'm pulling them off. I don't know. I'm not, not into them. Like I said earlier, I was pulling like a broad range of sizes and I was gonna narrow it down, which is what I'm doing now. Um, okay, I wanna keep this dress on, I wanna keep this dress on. Here's some jackets that I pulled. So we have the blazer, but I also pulled these jackets in addition to the blazer. This is silk, once again. This is like a New Orleans jacket if I ever saw one. Like it's very thin and fun and playful. So it's good for a city that doesn't really get that hot. And then this is a gingham jean jacket that I've had for a minute in stock that I can't believe I still have because I think it's like so adorable. It's kind of a cropped gingham jean jacket. I mean, people give this stuff away and I'm like, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? All right, so I think I have a really, really, really incredible start. And honestly, I feel like I have enough because um, I still have to pull shoes and I'll probably stare and try to build a couple more outfits, to be honest, probably switch some things around. But I'm going thrifting today anyway, so I might as well just see if I can find, I think what I'm missing is some tie-in pieces. So I'd like some tops to go under stuff and to mix and match with some of those slacks. I think tops is where I'm really lacking. There's a lot of pants up here. I feel good about the dresses. Maybe look at some LBDs for her. But overall, I'm feeling really good about it. I think that I've married the two aesthetics that I got from her. And I just, I know this client is gonna be just so happy no matter what. Like she is really, the she's the perfect client for what I do because she is ready to figure it out and is happy to just play around until she figures it out. Like she basically came to me like, I don't know what my style is and I just wanna figure it out. And I am just gonna help facilitate that for her. So. I know no matter what, it's gonna go so well because she's gonna walk away with a whole bunch of knowledge about what she likes and what she doesn't like. And so I already feel really good about what I have here. But since I'm going thrifting today anyway, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna maybe grab a couple more things. We'll see, who knows what happens. Um, all right. Okay, so Rachel's on her way. She should be here in about an hour. Um, she's coming straight from work. So I'm really excited to have her. I like to have my clients come during daylight hours because I have big windows where everyone tries on and I find daylight is like the best light in the world. But it doesn't always happen, but I'm really excited she's coming straight from work so that she can um, get that daylight, maximize that daylight. Um, so, I did wind up going thrifting again yesterday, but I actually didn't find anything to add to her rack, but I found some stuff. I did my own inventory and like, 
I shopped my own inventory again for her and I found some more pieces. So I'm not going to go through and show you any more. Everything will just be a surprise. If you didn't see it on the rack, you'll see it on her maybe. Um, and she did say I could film her, so I don't know what her comfort level about filming will be. So hopefully I'll be able to get some footage of her for you. And I'll check back in at the end and let you know how it went. But I'm really excited. Um, next step, I just steamed everything on the rack. And the next step is I'm going to make the price sheet. I do individually price every item, every rack. Um, people ask me how much clients spend, which I'll never disclose how much any individual client spends. Um, but I'll give you an idea of my pricing structure and what clients usually spend. Um, typically, a client will spend between $100 and $500 at their rack. Now, at $500 at my pricing, it essentially works out to a whole new wardrobe, like you're thinking shoes and accessories, stuff like that. Um, and my pricing structure also includes my styling fee, which is $100. So they pay $100 before they ever get to come do their rack. That's just the, the, the fee to me so I can begin to work on it. Um, and from there, I don't require anyone to buy a certain amount of things. They can leave here with one or two things. I don't have a minimum buy. Like I gauge my success off of how much I feel the person has enjoyed themselves. The money part of it, I have no expectations. I want people to stay on their budgets. They will know what the right price point for them is. Also, I don't want people buying a bunch of stuff for me that they're not gonna wear. So for me, it's like I would rather you buy a few select items you feel very good about and walk out of here extremely happy than to just buy a ton of it and never wear it. So ultimately my goal when it comes to how much I sell is just what feels right for the client? What are they looking for? I've had people walk out of here with entirely new wardrobes, people who were for the first time ever invested in their wardrobe or people whose bodies had changed and they never did the thing to get all the new clothes they needed. So they've come to me and they get a whole new wardrobe for $500. You can't get that anywhere else pretty much. Um, but my pricing is not thrift store pricing. It's more like a Buffalo exchange level of pricing. I'll give you some examples. My jeans, typically I price them between 20 and 35, depending on rarity, um, vintage, etc., like that, what you understand. Um, button down, like a short sleeve button down, those prices go between 15 and like 25 bucks. Um, once again, there's some wiggle room there for if it's a designer piece, if it's um, really hard to find if it's super vintage things like that I do have pieces that can go up up and up my shoes those are starting a little bit higher because I only source shoes that are like in new condition um, so those usually start around 30 depending on the shoe um, but yeah it's an interesting pricing structure it's not cheap uh, people I don't want ever anyone ever be like ah this is a cheap experience because it's really not but for some people, being able to buy a $30 shoe when they're usually buying a $120 shoe, that's that's a big that's a big discount. So it is, just depending on the person and what their budget is like, it can be seen as really a good deal. But for other people, it could be quite an investment. So I don't know, everybody's got their own journey. And my goal is to have a really happy customer that I feel like I've really impacted and for them to actually wear the things they buy from me. I never want anyone to buy stuff from me and just never wear it. So that's the goal is to help them find things they feel really good about. I feel really good about Rachel's rack. I think that I have honored so many parts of her identity and I think that she is going to have fun seeing things on herself and figuring out what she likes or doesn't like about them and that is, that's, that's, that's priceless, baby. That's priceless. So <laughs> I'll update you soon, hopefully. I know Rachel has agreed to be on camera. I don't know what her comfort level will be, so I'll try to film as much as I can. But once again, these are like really personal experiences and these people letting me share it with y'all is so kind of them. So I'd appreciate it in the comments. I mean, y'all have kept it really courteous. Please just be kind. Um, and I do wanna say this one thing that I wonder if a lot of people, it's never occurred to them. When we comment on people's bodies, um, it's not necessarily a compliment to give someone a compliment a compliment on the way their body is shaped or looks um, because they have no control over that. And additionally, you don't know what they might be going through. You don't know what I'm going through. So I would ask that if you could compliment people, just keep it to, um, you know, things like, oh, I love that dress or that color is really beautiful on you, et cetera, et cetera. And not things like you've got a great body. Oh my God, I wish I had those persons, whatever's. Um, so let's just try to keep it, you know, sensitive to the fact that some people have body stuff. So when we comment on really specific parts of bodies, 
it can be really triggering for some people. Um, yeah, that's my little 101 <laughs> lesson. And I hope you understand. And okay, hopefully she'll be here soon. You look great. Y'all, Rachel made it. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so remember how earlier I was like, I don't know how she's going to like this rise. How do you like the rise? I like them. I'm surprised. Yeah, we're surprised that you like the rise. But they're a little too tight, so they're probably not the jeans. But she paired it with these really cute slip-ons, and I just think that's a very adorable pairing. All right, I'm, I think first outfit feels good, but maybe not the outfit. Yeah, maybe not the outfit. Yeah, but good job. <laughs> okay, I definitely said earlier on camera, insert clip here, that this is like an outfit that I think you already own and like is yeah. in your comfort zone. And what did you say when you when I told you that? I said, yeah, how do I not already own that? <laughs> <laughs> it's really cute. And these carpenter shorts are so cute on you. Yeah. And you already have your hand in the little, uh, the hammer loop. <laughs> oh my, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's so stinking cute. And this is your belt. Yeah. It's cute, it's really cute. Yeah, it's very cute, I feel like. I feel like this is like a good amount of like. You like the poof, the, baggy. the like baggy. Yeah, yeah it's really. It's kind of like an intentional baggy. It's very adorable. Thank you. It's very adorable. I would trust you to like teach me how to plant something in a garden. You know. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like this person knows like what's yeah. seasonal. Yeah, we like live in a house that comes in. We definitely anything okay. breaks, you're fixing it. Okay, okay, okay. I will be there. <laughs> yeah, I love this one. And we, oh, you got these shoes back on. I like these yeah. shoes on you too. These shoes are so nice because they're like casual, but also a little dressed up, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like them. Yeah, I definitely, yeah, like the versatility. Yeah, this is like a, a, an outfit that you will wear. Yeah. Like. Right. I mean, different, but yeah, obviously like wearing like the black tank top and then having a it lineup open. Open. Like my mouth. I love that. I love that. I I think the shorts are adorable. The shirt's a little too tight, you said. Yeah. It's too bad because it does look very adorable. Yeah. But I definitely could see, like, you know, not going to be monotone with both of these pieces. Yeah. I do have, like, a pink, like, plaid. Oh, that would be cute. I mean, also, you could wear any. You don't have to yeah. do the monochrome. Okay. I was even thinking because these are also high waist, you should do a little crop top with it, you know? Have a little bit of, like, a little slit. Because they're so long, too. It might be fun to have some skin break up all the fabric and have a crop top with it. So we wound up loving the vest. Yeah, the vest is pretty tight. And it does button, and it looks very cute buttoned. But the casual black dress, we're so far, we're just, it's just not vibing. It's not speaking. It's not spectacular, you know? Yes, 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 yes. But you you let you lit up when you saw this vest when I was doing when I was doing the initial like walkthrough of every item and we got to the vest, you were like your eyes turn into stars. Yeah. <laughs> right, you hadn't even gotten past the other like, Oh my god. <laughs> Over the shoulder. Yeah, it's it's a pretty spectacular vest. Yeah. No, I can see this like the white crop top. Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. That'd be cute. Yeah. Okay, maybe we should see that. Yeah. Rachel just said, this might be crazy, and then got really silent, and I don't know why. <laughs> and again, again, like I have athletic shorts. No, but these but are, like, these are like, these look so yeah. cute on you. These shorts fit you so well. Okay, yeah, this is adorable. Yeah, this is fun. It's um, pretty adorable. Yeah. It's also very, like, gay dare I say yeah. like it's like it's a very queer fit you know right. like you could wear this like girl spot or something and be like yeah. right on brand you know yeah, definitely. and I feel like that's like something I'm kind of work towards more. yeah it's like the undercut the undercut yeah. is signaling the undercut is signaling yeah let's <laughs> do more things cool no I definitely I'm not I'm just like oh, okay maybe even just like I'm just trying to like think how does this that needs to be like. You want it to be like flowing. You yeah. want like you want it to be. Does it feel too st stuck where it is? Yeah, it's very like stiff. Mm -hmm. Which is like. It's a yeah, it's denim. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Which is not bad, but I'm just like. Do you want it to be more flowy? Maybe. Yeah. But also maybe. It's so cute. <laughs> right, I know, like the color is part of everything. Yeah. I love it. We love it. Okay. And I feel like the wrap top is mostly a no. What do you think? Yeah, probably a no. Okay, but the blazer, 
you call you called it what? Um, what did I say? Like the lesbian mom boss. Lesbian mom boss. Yeah. It's giving lesbian mom boss. And then I like that you went and went brave and put on the mules. I think it's really cute. But I think the big winner of this outfit is the jeans, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they're really cute. Okay, they fit you really well. They fit you super well. They show off your legs. Yeah, they're cute. And they're not super skinny. They're more of like a straight. We'll show the world this one. Okay, you love this top. Yeah, the top is very shiny, very fun. I want to show the whole silhouette of these pants because I love the cut of them on you. We were kind of concerned about the top because it's got a really wide waistband. And I feel like we broke it up with the belt and that helped, but I don't know. How are you feeling about the pants now? Yeah, I mean, they are, I do like the cut. The fact that there's like a little, even with the belt though, it's like still kind of floppy. Mm-hmm. Like silly, yeah. Feeling. It's uh, too bad because the cut is so pretty. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm being sold on like the, the wide cut. I love I it. I love it. These are just a little too high waisted on you. Yeah. And I think you have, you're a little bit more shorter torso too. So it's kind of like cutting you off, you know? Yeah. Like you don't want stuff right under your boobs. Yeah. Like you like want a little length, <laughs> right. you know? Yeah. Boob yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want you want to give the illusion of like right. length and heighten yourself. The pants. The pants are very. What are your feelings on the pants? fact that they're long is like the main, <laughs> the main, the, the main. Is it hanging you up or you like it? I do like them. I think it's just more of like, okay, I'm, I'm just trying to assess like where. You, if you'll wear what them. I wear, I wear them. But I like, they are very pretty. <laughs> it does feel nice to have something like fancier on. Yeah, it's. I, like I kind of, earlier I was telling you about like how nice silk just kind of feels yeah. when you wear it. And there's something to that. Like when you yeah. feel good, it's like it makes a difference, you know? Yeah. That's probably not <laughs> this is probably not the top. I think this top is yeah. just not the top. Okay. Right? Like yeah, it's like, like it's pattern. doing this situation back here. Oh. Uh, but this yeah. silhouette's really sweet on you. And yeah, they are dressier and there there is that question of like, how often are you gonna wear them? And then yeah, what are you gonna put on the top with it? Right. I think those are the two big things. Like what dressy shirts. I do have like a black Mm -hmm. that, maybe that could be like pretty. <laughs> no, like everything about the pants is great. Like I, or it's just a matter of like, do I just find fancy events to go to? <laughs> you, you have fancy events. Yeah. And they're also not that fancy. Yeah, that's Like true. you could wear them to go see theater or like, I don't know what you do, but I don't know. I'm biased. These pants look beautiful on you. I think they need to definitely go in the maybe pile at the very least. Okay. No, they're definitely going to the baby pile. Yes, sure. good. Okay, good. The top is sexy. <laughs> it's a little, yeah, it's like a little, obviously, like lingerie. Which yes. It's fun, but it's, also. It's revealing. Yeah. Yeah, well, you would have to have a black strap so yeah. that it blends. Yeah, for sure. Well, I think it fits you very adorably. Cute. Yeah. Very cute. Cute. Okay, thanks for letting me film you nonstop. Yeah, okay. This is so stinking cute on you. I also regret putting long shorts on your rack at all because oh, yeah. I love you in short shorts so much. You look so sweet. Yeah, you look really cute in this. Yeah, I definitely, okay, this button, this button, but, but, yeah, I this is fun. It's, I like. Easy. It's like easy, comfortable, it looks great on you. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of a no brainer. Okay, this is this is the ultra sexy short dress. And what are your feelings, Rachel? Very bouncy. Feels, yeah, different. So it's like hard to know how to feel about this. Yeah, because you don't normally wear stuff like this. Yeah. But also that's kind of like, that's part of the challenge. Mm -hmm. Like what, what thing am I open to? Yeah. So it's definitely, I can tell you feel cute in it. I can tell you feel a little cute in it, but it might be like too short, too low. It like, who knows? Yeah. Yeah, I think I have to wish. Yep. Sit in it. Oh, that is. Oh yeah, the sitting in a test is always good. Just like yeah. Oh yeah, Kristen's here by the way. Kristen. Just giving my unsolicited feedback. I love this very graceful sit. Yeah, I just like. I read a lot of princess books. 
It's very adorable. All right, we're ignore our tube top, but we really like these linen coral pants. I think again, like. Can I be trusted? Can I be trusted <laughs> with, because they're linen? Because they're linen. Where am I going to go where I'm not biking? Yeah. There are places. I mean, you could bike in them. You just have yeah. to be really, really careful. Really careful. Might not be worth it, yeah. yeah. All right, well. I, can I put together my own ensemble? And I think you did a good job. I mean, I when I was trying to make an outfit with this little overcoat thing, I kind of had the same idea, yeah. like a crop top situation in the slack. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think you did a good job. Yeah, I love these little coral slacks. Okay, Rachel, you just finished your rack. How do you I feel about your it. final pile? I don't I... think we showed these sneakers. I don't think we did. They're so I feel cool. Really good. I feel like I'm going to have an ensemble that I can mix and match, that I can go out in public in. <laughs> and talk about. And I think that's, 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 that's feeling really good. We want you to go out in public in the clothes, so yeah, that's a exactly. good thing. <laughs> I feel like I can like throw on a fun outfit that's not athletic wear anymore, and that's really where that's really where I need to get. That was your goal. Yeah. That was your goal, and you've you've smashed it. Well, I think you did a really great job. I think that you definitely were really open, and that was what I was saying earlier. It's like I just knew that you were going to be down to try everything, and I really appreciate your open mindedness, oh, and like you really did get a really good yeah. starter wardrobe, like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just hit me up. Just yeah. so you would recommend the rack experience. Definitely. No, I feel like you picked out so many things that like I wouldn't have tried myself. Like I love thrifting and like the anxiety of thrifting can be so high. This yes. I love it all of that as the overwhelming aspect of like not knowing where to start. Truly. Definitely would say if you've been thinking about it. You hear it here, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Mary's rack. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. you the best. Love it. Bye. Bye. It's the next day. Rachel left, and I think it went extremely well. I think it went exactly how I thought it was going to go. I, as soon as I met Rachel the first time, I kind of had a really strong vibe for the kind of person she was, and she turned out to be exactly that kind of person. Like super open-minded. She tried everything. She learned a lot about herself. Like. Those silk pants, like, I definitely had to sell her on them, but she wanted me to sell her on them because they looked so good on her. Um, I'm going to insert this picture because the picture really shows it, and you should see the picture. Um, but I was really proud of her for just kind of stepping out of her comfort zone, really being willing to try all kinds of things, and I think she left with a really good, a good, like, array of stuff. So I feel like it was a huge success. Thank you so much, Rachel, for being in this video. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm very new to YouTube. Like it, leave a comment, any engagement. It will keep me going. And I'm really grateful for you. So y'all take care.